Well, I just did a top 10 video. I'll be posting that tomorrow. I was kind of wanting to do one here for a while, and I was just like, Adrian went to bed. I got some quiet time. I actually can do it, so I was like, yeah, I'm actually going to do that right now. But now I have all these board games i got to put back up. <laughs> so today at work, it's kind of interesting. I got a call, not a call, I got an email from the, like the other location I work at. And they're like, is it possible you can come here um, tomorrow so that we have a few things that really need to get done quickly? I'm like, okay, cool. But the issue that I think they're having is an issue that they talked about Friday, which really isn't my issue. I mean, well, I take it back. It is my issue. They're paying me to take care of stuff. But it's like there's another guy there that's... that's uh, setting up new stuff and the, the, what he's setting up he kind of broke something else in the process so I'm sitting there thinking like okay I can try to fix it but when if I do it's not really going to work I don't think but anyways that's I mean I, I might fix some, he might make a change and then I'll make a change that might break something in his is what I mean but We'll see tomorrow when I get there how everything goes. But let's see here. What else is there I'm looking at? Um, ooh, I actually got this pumpkin spice tea. And it is like really good. Holy cow. I like pumpkin spice. Like I'm one of the, um, I like pumpkin spice coffee. During Like when it's Halloween and all the pumpkin stuff comes out, I'm, I love it. I get pretty much most of it. I gain way too much weight during that time of the year. I know some people are like, oh, I love it when this comes out this time of year. Me, I'm like, the pumpkin stuff. Like at Culver's, they have this um, uh, pumpkin concrete mixer. Oh, gosh. It's basically pumpkin pie, pie filling mixed with their custard. And it's so good. <laughs> I have to like not eat. I have to make sure I don't go and get too many of them because I will get one every single day if I let myself. I love those things. Now I want to go get one, but it's not that time of year, so I can't. So yeah, but like the coffee, it comes out pumpkin spice coffee. Um, I don't know, just so much good stuff. But yeah, the... Um, Oh gosh, I just went completely blank there again. I don't know why I'm doing that. Uh, Breath of the Wild. I'm getting more into it. I'm really liking it. I finally I got a horse. I was like, holy freaking cow, I didn't realize I could get a horse. And um, I love it. I named it Chloe after my dog. It's kind of it's kind of got a shaggy mane on it. So I was like, yep, yeah, that's Chloe. <laughs> um so yeah, I think it said you can get five horses in the game at one time. I put them in a stable, and I was like, that's freaking awesome. I can't wait. Um, I know I'm I finding more and more about the game. Like the cooking mechanics in it are a little different. I wish it didn't take so long. It is a little, I think it's a little, it's, I think it's a little convoluted to do cooking in the game. My, maybe there's something I'm not seeing that makes it quicker, but right now it takes too much time, I think. But anyways, um, if you haven't played it, Breath of the Wild is very, very, very good. It's actually one of the games I'm kind of like, I can't just ignore the world and play this game. I have to really sit down and let and, and play with Adrian and my shirt sleeve turn completely around. <laughs> but like I have to like, like okay, I'm not going to play this game. I'm going to play with Adrian. I'm going to play with the dogs. When Adrian goes to sleep, and I've done everything I need to do, then it's time to play my game. Because right now, if I if I let myself, I could very easily get get pulled, sucked into it. I'm trying my best not to let that happen. I mean, I can't ignore everybody else in, my, in the world. You know, that's one of those things you have to, like you have to adult. <laughs> you have to actually take, do, do the, be responsible and do the right thing. So yeah, and as Adrian gets older, I don't see my amount of time I can spend in video games increasing any. Because basically what I'm going to be doing is he gets older, 
I'm going to want to start taking him out camping and doing stuff like that. I do want video games to be part of our relationship. I love playing video games, and I'd like to share that with him. Um, I'd, like I have an arcade machine. I'd like to be able to, me and him, stand beside each other. We're playing an arcade game, and it's one of those trash-talking things. Is that I remember being in an arcade, and somebody just walking up to you, and they'd be like, I hope you're ready to lose. And they get in there, and then you just stomp them into the ground. It's the best feeling in the world. They're just like, uh, uh, I messed up. I didn't choose, I, it's not, I, I didn't choose my best character. And they put more, more, two more tokens in. Like, it's like a Mortal Kombat, this is what really happened on. I was really good at Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3. I mean, I won tournaments at these games. And people would come and play. And they, I, at the time, I wasn't that old. I was, pre, I was pretty young. And they would try to play me, and I would just stomp them. Because I spent so much money on that game. I could have probably bought my own machine. And it's always, I mean, I remember going on vacation once. And I was playing the game, and um, there's this guy walked up. He's like, hope you're ready to lose. And he put his two tokens in, started the game. And I remember him picking um, um, Raiden. I was uh, Sang Sung, or Shang Sung, or how you want to say it, but I always called it Sang Sung. Um, he's the guy that transforms into all the other characters. He laughed because he didn't think that character was any good. And I... First round, I beat him. He got he took half my health away. Second round, I got flawless victory, and then I did the Kentaro finish on him. And if you know what that is, means you have to hold down the low kick button for like thirty seconds to do it. And he he was trying to figure out why I was jumping around and running around so much. He got kind of got a little mad about it. And then when it when it went to the fatality, and his Kentaro appeared and punches him in half, he was like, "What the?" <laughs> he had never seen it before. He was like, oh, dude, that is awesome. And he, asked, and he asked how I did it. And I was like, the reason why I told him, like, to jump, the reason why I jumped around, you had to hold low kick down for 30 seconds. He was like, that's a hard fatality. I was like, yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I remember that. And there was another, was it Primal Rage is another one. There's this guy called, I think, it was, I think it's, the character's name is Churl. And um, he was just a, it's ape. He turned, he stood on his hands. He farted was one of his moves. And he basically puked at you. Uh, but he had a fatality that he walked up to, and he peed on you, and it turned you to bone. It, like it, his pee ate your your skin and flesh away, and your bones. And I remember these guys were playing, and they they kept going like one after another. And I, I was picking the character; it's got like a long tail, and spits acid. I can't remember that character's name. But I, then I then uh, he picked that character, and I was like, I don't want to pick the same one. I'll pick some else. So I picked Churl. And uh, he's the one, everybody else says, most characters had a fatality. Like there's this one, it's a big monkey who basically hits you on top of the head and then he punched you in the face and your brain falls out the back. It wasn't that noticeable. Now, that, that's how most of the fatalities were. But Charles was really noticeable because he walks up and he like lifts his leg and like you see pee. But, uh, and we I beat him and everything. And then he started to walk away and uh, I did that fatality. And his friend's like, oh, dude, look, he's pissing on you. <laughs> and he turned around and was like, whoa. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's one of those things, if you didn't know that, because it doesn't say finish him or fatality. It's just you have, to, you have to know that you can do that. And I would read it in some gaming magazine. It wasn't anything I figured out on my own. But it was actually uh, pretty funny, because after that, they actually started paying attention, and I started doing some of the fatalities. And I was like, and I told them how you do them. And it, it, it wasn't like some big secret. But, um, I mean, it was in gaming magazines and stuff. So I told them how to do it, and they played, and they figured it out. They, they were like, oh, dude, that's awesome. And So, yeah, video games, it brought people together. I mean, I didn't know these people. I, I knew them for the 20 minutes that we played video games together. And for those 20 minutes, we were friends. We were best friends because we had this thing to talk about, and it was great. After they left, I never saw them again. But for that short period of time, we were we were friends, and that's what I want to have with my with Adrian. I want him to understand that camaraderie with with somebody else that you may never meet again. And I understand, yeah, he's playing with his dad, and he's not going to really have the same emotional that that camaraderie with somebody else. But I do want him to have that with me. He'd be like, we're sitting there, we're playing a game, we're having fun. 
were talking and trash talking and all that. And it really, to me, that adds to the experience. That's what I miss about arcades. They were so good because it was you next to somebody else. It wasn't you listening over a headset. You weren't listening to some 12 year old call you every racial slur in the book. You actually had the guy standing next to you. And when I, like, like me, when I was 12, 13, 14 years old, I was a little snot nosed kid beating the crap out of these like 18 to and 18 plus year old guys that thought they were uh, big bad guys, these games, and, and this little kid stomping on me. <laughs> and I didn't, at that time, I didn't really trash talk. They, they, but they but they would try to and they would be like dude <laughs> and after I beat on it was, it was so funny but yeah so video games will be a part of Adrian's life well if he likes them if he doesn't like them I'm not going to push him on push him on him but most most kids today will do like video games but that's the thing is I, I, but I can't let it be his only interest I'm going to try to get him out like I said Take him out camping, kayaking, just outdoor stuff. Also doing other things with him. I'm trying to make it to where I've seen things like people, they um, give their kid a console and their kid goes plays that console while the parent goes to another room and is playing a, a different console. It may, they may have two of the same console but they're just playing two different games and they're basically using it so that, okay, like, I really want to play this game. So, hey, son or daughter, child, go play Call of Duty or whatever with your friends. I'm going to go play. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to play my game. I'm going to try not to. I'm trying not to do that. I want to be, I want to engage with him. I want him to play games with me. But as he gets older, I know that's going to fade. I mean, I know a lot of parents have started out playing games with their kids and then their kids just kind of like, well, my uh, friends are playing this, so I'm going to play this with them. And it's like, there's not much you can, I mean, it's less you go, no, you got to play with your dad. <laughs> I, I don't think that's going to be uh, uh, too, they're going to go over very well with like a 13, 14 year old kid. That's probably going to go over, like they say, like a lead balloon. <laughs> But anyways, I won't get off here. I talked about video games and some parenting things I'm going to try to do. I can't even say this is advice because I haven't done it yet. I mean, Adrian's two years old. Right now, we're, he'll sit in my lap and I'll play Farm Simulator with him because he likes to watch the tractors in the game. And that's something he doesn't even like to watch that much anymore. Like when at night, like tonight, he he wanted me to he 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 uh, he looked at the TV and pointed at it and he went tractor. And uh, and, cause, and and that's what it generally means. He wants to you know, he wants to play Farm Simulator. So, but he so I have it on the X, the Xbox One, and I have it on the Vita. He prefers me to play it on the Vita because he can sit there and he can, if you touch the back of the Vita, it, the horn blows. So he likes it. So like I'll be driving, and he'll just take his little finger and go, and he go beep beep beep. <laughs> but he loves that. Um, but hope you guys had a good day. Me sitting here thinking about this and talking about it actually made my day really good now. <laughs> but hope you have a good one and talk to you tomorrow.